Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. Start with a semicircle. From the upper right corner, carefully fold a circular segment until it just touches the diameter and divides the diameter into lengths of four and two. The question is what is the length of the folded line? I thank Yenta for the suggestion. The problem is adapted from a Belgian mathematical Olympiad. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we must use the little gray cells. We start with a circular segment that is reflected about line AB. The resulting circular segment is tangent at point T and divides the diameter into lengths of 4 and 2. The entire diameter will have a length equal to 6. Label the center of this semicircle as P. The radius of the semicircle will be one half its diameter and therefore it will be equal to 3. Consequently, PT has a length equal to 1. Now consider the reflected or folded circular segment. Let's draw the circle containing this circular segment. Because the original circular segment belonged to a semicircle of radius 3, the resulting circle will also have a radius equal to 3. Furthermore, the center of this circle will exactly be the image of P about line segment AB. You can see this because both are equidistant from points A and B and there is symmetry about line segment AB. If we construct P prime T, it will be perpendicular to this diameter and it will have a length equal to three. We can therefore focus on just this right triangle. We can calculate the length of the hypotenuse using the Gogu theorem and we get the distance between the two centers is equal to the square root of 10. Let's construct point C as the midpoint of the hypotenuse. We can then get PC is equal to 1 half the square root of 10. Since C is exactly halfway between P and P prime, it will also be along line segment AB. Now let's construct the radius PA. Since it's a radius of this semicircle, it will have a length of 3. We will then focus on the right triangle PAC. We can calculate the length of AC using the Gogu theorem. We get the result of the square root of 26 all over 2. We then go back to the diagram and we can calculate the length of AB, which will be exactly twice AC. And therefore, the length of the folded line will be equal to the square root of 26, which is approximately 5.1. And that's the answer. I think it's a really neat problem. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.